What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Just wanna take a second to reflect the first week of 2021. Um, a lot to unpack there, um, but I'll tell you, I I've been talking about it from the very first day of the year that this is the year of grinding. This is the year of putting in some serious work and taking everything that we learned from 2020 and carrying it over to this year and becoming our new selves like uh, it's going to be an awakening if you will um, because after we see what we're capable of after a year like 2020 the year of excuses i think a lot of people kind of hate to see 2020 go because of all the excuses they could have used last year that's not going to be available this year and the people that grinded through 2020 and continue to grind even harder in 2021 are the people that's gonna emerge. We're gonna see a lot of people emerge this year. A lot of newer agents, a lot of people that were at the bottom that we start to hear their names. We start to hear their names more and more and more and we start to see some serious results. And that's what it's all about. It's just grinding, it's just the slow, steady grind. I like to think of myself as someone who really manages my emotions. I don't get too excited about deals. I don't get too down when things don't go right. I try to stay key. I try to keep a level emotional playing field for myself so that I can outpace everyone because it's not always, you know, when people are excited, they might be out there grinding harder than me. But <laughs> soon enough, they're going to come down crashing and they're going to have several weeks or even months where they're not very productive at all because they're having a down moment because they're riding the highs and they're riding the lows. I like to keep a very steady uh, pace emotionally. And that helps me. Uh, that helps me predict where I'm going to be year over year over year, and really look at everything on a three to five year term, and kind of uh, realize that I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, this week, I closed a lot of deals because I had a lot of big deals close at the very last day of the year. Everybody wanted to close on the last day. Those deals carried over into this week to get paid. I had two other big closings this week. Uh, closing on one today. It was over $100,000. Um, I've still got 10 pending right now. And, you know, I, I put 200 contracts that were really good ones this week. And I'm just excited. Uh, I've been saying it the whole time. This is not only the year of the grind, but this is a year to be extremely excited about the future. My team, the Diamond Group, uh, is closing over 120 deals a month right now. So that's very exciting. Uh, and I'm looking to, to grow in that area. I'm continuing to push in my real estate business. I'll be honest with you guys. My goal for 2020 is to sell 70 deals. Okay, so I normally have sold 100 deals a year since 2014. But this year, I want to go 70. The reason being is because I know that my energy is, is better spent helping other agents and um, coaching and uh, mentoring and helping um, that's where i bring the most value to the world and to be honest with you it's easier for me to sell 100 properties a year at this point because of the size of my database and how hard i've worked to build my business it's actually going to be more challenging to sell 70 deals right to, to make myself to hold myself back and not jump on every situation. I grew up poor. I grew up with no money. I grew up having to fight for every little thing that, that I wanted, right? Everything that I got, I fought for. And so it puts me in a position now where I don't, I don't like to give up money. And that's one reason I work so hard is because I have to go get it, right? I have to go get it. And to be able to, to force myself to pull back a little is gonna be challenging. We'll see where I end up. I bet you anything, I'll end up at 100 deals again, you know, but but uh, that's my little challenge for myself. Um, I always like to challenge myself. So anyway, that's my recap for the first week of 2021. I hope you're doing well. I hope you started out with a bang. Let me know what I can do to help you. I hope my videos, my webinars, my podcasts, my books, uh, my coaching program, everything that I have to offer is helping you in a big, big way. And just know that I'm in it with you and I'm here to help. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand, line in the palace.